Now, let's discuss on how to get the greatest common monomial factor. So, let's have an example. Write the GCMF of the following polynomials. Number 1, we have 4x and 8y. So, what is our first step in getting the greatest common monomial factor? First, we're going to think of the greatest integer or greatest number that can divide the numbers 4 and 8. So, ano ba yung pinakamalaking number na kayang i-divide yung 4 at saka 8? May isip mo, 2! Kasi 4 divided by 2, pwede. 8 divided by 2, pwede. But, we're looking for the greatest. Pinakamalaki dapat ang kukunin natin. So, kung hindi pwede yung 2, ano yung sumunod na po pwede? Obviously, that is 4. Because 4 divided by 4 and 8 divided by 4, pwede. Next is the variables. Look for the common variables. So, yung magkamuka dun sa bawat term. So, dito, meron tayong x. At dun sa sunod na term, meron tayong y. May common ba? Wala. So, 4 lang yung GCMF natin sa number 1. Next, number 2. We have 12a squared, 24a cubed, 16a. Like sa number 1, Think of a greatest number that can divide 12, 24, and 16. So, ano? Pwede yung 2, pero hindi yun yung pinakamalaki. Pwede yung 3? Hindi pwede yung 3 kasi 16 divided by 3, hindi sakto ang sagot. 4? Pwede bang 4? 12 divided by 4? Pwede. 24 divided by 4? Pwede. 16 divided by 4, pwede. So, the answer is 4. Next, the variables. Kailangan natin ng common variable. So, a squared, a cubed, a. May a lahat. So, pwede yung a. Pero, kailangan tingnan natin yung pinakamaliit na exponent. Kung sa numbers, ang hinahanap natin ay yung pinakamalaking number na kayang i-divide yung given, sa exponent naman ng variables, ang kukunin natin ay yung pinakamaliit. So, dito, ang pinakamaliit na exponent ay yung 1. Kaya, A lang yung sinulat natin. Next, number 3. We have 18m squared n cubed p, 27m cubed n squared, and 54m squared n to the fourth power. So, katulad sa example number 1 and 2, think of the biggest or the greatest integer that can divide 18, 27, and 54. So, ano ba yung pinakamalaki? Yung pinakamalaki na kagad. That is, very good, 9. Next, how about the common variables? Ano yung common variables natin? Okay, we have M. And we have also N. Eh, mam yung P, hindi ba kasali? No, kasi walang P dito sa pangalawang term at doon sa isa pang term, wala ding P. Kailangan yung common dun sa lahat na given na term. Next, nakuha na natin yung common variable. Ngayon naman, tingnan natin yung P na na exponent. So, yung M natin, meron tayong M squared, M cubed, and M squared ulit. So, ano yung pinakamaliit? Obviously, yung m squared. So, lagyan natin ng 2. How about sa n? So, we have n cubed, n squared, and n to the fourth power. Ano ang pinakamaliit? That is n squared 2. So, ang GCMF natin for number 3 ay 9m squared, n squared. And that's it. If you don't have any more questions, you can now proceed to the activity below. But, if you have still questions or naguguluhan pa, replay the video. Good day!